now that we've got the basic settings for our template set up here, we're going to go ahead and integrate with our repository. If you are using GitHub, this is the video for you. If you're looking for GitLab, that's going to be the next video. So let's click GitHub here. We'll wait for this little pop-up. We're going to install M0. So we're going to click on me here. Scroll down. Now you have the ability to either select specific repositories or for all repositories. And this is read access so that we can pull that down and execute that code. It's also write access back through so that we can set up the two-way webhooks for things like continuous deployment so that we can create comments on your pull requests for pull request plans and things of that nature. I'll go ahead and authorize for all repositories here. You're only gonna have to do this step one time if you're doing it for all repositories. Now that we've done that, it opens it up and it allows us to select which GitHub repository we're looking for. So we're looking for Acme Fitness. Now branch, by default, you can set this as main. You can set this as pretty much whatever you want to be the default. But of course, if you do want to deploy from a feature branch or something like that later, you can always do that regardless of what the branch is set for here. And then of course, there's the Terraform folder. So like I mentioned with that, don't repeat yourself, we have the ability to also work with pretty much whatever strategy that you have. If you're multi-repository or if you're mono-repository, specifically this field allows us to say exactly where those Terraform files are so that we can go through and find that and utilize those. For this, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it because it's right there at the root. And then we'll select next and move on to variables. Yeah.